His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Decree No. 56 for this year, appointing the following directors at the Ministry of Interior, Colonel Hamad Ali Al Kabi, Colonel Hussein Ali Al Jassim, Lieutenant Colonel Walid Mbarak Zwayed, Lieutenant Colonel Daeej Abdullah Al Niham, Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Ahmed Al Isa, Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Mahmoud Yusuf, Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Ali Draj, Lieutenant Colonel Walid Mutar Al Buflasa, Lieutenant Colonel Thabit Ahmed Bali, Lieutenant Colonel Adil Ibrahim Al Dosri, Lieutenant Colonel Abdul Rahman Mohammed Al Maouda, Major Hamad Mohammed Al Hajri, Major Hassan Ibrahim Al Malki, Major Abdul Aziz Abdullah Al Sabah, Major Mohammed Abdul Wahid Darwish. The edict asked the Minister of Interior to designate them in the vacant directorates. His Royal Highness issued Decree 57 appointing Ali Ahmed Amini as Director of Crime Prevention at the Interior Ministry. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 58 appointing Khalid Abdul Latif Haji Nasrallah as Director of Engineering Services and Investment at the Northern Governorate and Hamad Jum'a Fazazi as Director of Engineering Services and Investment at the Southern Governorate. And His Royal Highness Prime Minister issued Decree 59 appointing Khalud Abdullah Hamada as Director of Human and Financial Resources at the Southern Governorate. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabiya Palace a number of Gulf Corporation Council and Arab countries ambassadors, chairmen of associations and civil society institutions, business intellectuals and media figures, state officials and scores of citizens. He affirmed that the unity of the Gulf is an essential goal in light of the security and economic challenges that face the region, which can only be overcome through cooperation and unity. He stated that the next GCC summit to be held in Bahrain will strengthen the cooperation and cohesion between the Gulf countries. His Royal Highness called to enhance Arab unity in order to face the serious challenges imposed on the region. The Prime Minister received congratulations from GCC and Arab ambassadors on the occasion of receiving the Grand Star in Gold of the Australian Order of Merit granted to His Royal Highness by the Royal Habsburg family and the Hollebron City Council in Austria in honor of his prominent role in the humanitarian field to maintain world peace. On behalf of the ambassadors, the ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Sheikh, affirmed that the honoring of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, is an honoring to the whole Arab nation because of His Royal Highness's distinguished leadership on the regional and international levels. The Prime Minister affirmed that any honoring that he receives from countries and international organizations is an honoring to the people of Bahrain, who are the main reason behind every national achievement. He commended the Bahraini people for standing in the face of extremism and for being an example of patriotism and unity against all that threatens the security and stability of the kingdom. His Royal Highness added that the efforts of the government are aimed to meet the demands of those people in order to achieve a better future. The Prime Minister reviewed with the audience the latest developments on the regional and international levels. He commended the role of friendly countries in supporting Bahrain to achieve safety and security and maintain peace, affirming the kingdom's keen in developing its cooperation and coordination with those countries in international forums and in various areas of trade.
Israel Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the general authority for Hussainiyah processions led by the head of the authority Ahmed Mohsen bin Saloum. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the efforts of the authority and its members in reviving religious ceremonies. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is an example of social harmony and the sense of the one family between all citizens. He expressed pride in the citizens' keenness on protecting national gains, adding that the citizens' joint efforts built the development of the country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the religious, social and national role of places of worship, stressing that all ministries do their utmost to facilitate procedures of religious ceremonies. He praised the cooperation shown between funeral places and Hussainiyas and government bodies to organize Hussainiyya processions, which highlights the noble values of Ashura season. General Authority for Hussainiyya processions expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his yearly support and directives to all ministries, authorities and government bodies to aid the success of religious ceremonies. The authority affirmed that His Royal Highness's meeting with its members proves His Royal Highness's beliefs in the values of pluralism, tolerance and religious coexistence between the citizens, adding that these values come in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project. The authority also affirmed their support to His Majesty the King and the government's efforts to reinforce national unity on all levels. The Speaker of the Shura Council chaired today the weekly meeting. The Council approved a draft law on protecting the society from the immunodeficiency syndrome and another draft law on protecting the rights of people living with the virus. The Council then discussed a report regarding laws of registration and safety rules of small ships and discussed another report on election of Municipal Council member system. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, received a written letter from the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rajan bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The letter was delivered by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. They discussed matters of common concern between the two countries. The reception was attended by the advisor of the Saudi Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin, Sa bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdullah. Glasses. In Jazil Arab Organization announced that Bahrain has finished all preparations to host in Jazil Arab's 2016 10th regional youth competition, launching on November the 22nd. This came in the press conference chaired by Chief Executive Officer of In Jazil Bahrain, Sheikh Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, with the presence of representatives of government and private supporting authorities, where she indicated that this competition is held in Bahrain for the first time and attended by more than four hundred guests of government officials and businessmen from and outside of Bahrain and with the participation of more than 120 young boys and girls from 13 countries of the Middle East and North Africa competing to win one of the nine awards of the competition. Sheikh Hassa affirmed that this event is an unusual opportunity for Arab youth for their acquisition of the best practices in business management from real life that will build confidence to make them ready for the competitive job market. Muharraq Municipal Council held its ordinary session to review the budget allocated for the development project for cities and villages for the years 2015 and 16 and the allocation of two properties in Bsaytin for establishing a major events hall that was ordered by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa during his visit to Muharraq. The council recommended establishing a youth center that offers various services to develop the skills of the youth in Block 204. The council also called for development recreational facilities in the area and discussed maintenance works and emergencies in roads and streets. The council also discussed a plan regarding allocating suction pumps and tanks over Muharraq.
Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,148.92 points, rising 4.55 above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 59% of total shares. 42 transactions included 947,730 shares, worth 169,120 Bahraini dinars.